Okay, so this video is just about using a calculator to calculate logs. So um, let's say I want to know log of 0.57. Well, the good news is uh, standard scientific, you know, very basic scientific calculators have a LOG button and an LN button. That's for log base 10 and the natural log which is base E. So this is base 10 and this is base E. Okay, um, very few calculators have a, let's see, let me see if I can type it. Um, hmm. let's see here, there we go, have a button that looks like this, okay, um, where you can type in any base. Now there are some scientific calculators that have this, uh, some Casios have this, some Texas Instruments have it, uh, but you have to look for it when you're buying a calculator. Now, you don't need it, but it is very useful. Uh, you could do log base 3, log base 5, whatever log you want here, okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate logs of any base if you don't have this button. But first, if you have uh, this thing, log of 0.57, then the first thing you need to understand is that's log base 10, and any scientific calculator will have a log button. So on a scientific calculator, you simply type in log, and most of them will put parentheses and then you type in your 0.57, close your parentheses, and hit enter, and it will give you the answer, okay, an approximate answer, okay? So no problem. Natural logs are also just as simple. Now, uh, I do want to talk about the difference between a couple different things. If I ask you to calculate the natural log of x plus 1, if x equals 4, then um, understand that you would type in this, the natural log, parentheses, 4, close your parentheses, plus 1. In this case, you're only taking the natural log of the x, not the x plus 1, okay? So if there are no parentheses in the expression, you're only taking the log of what's immediately after the log. If it was this, however, log of x plus 1 in parentheses, with x equaling 4, then you could type in ln of parentheses 4 plus 1 like this, or if you add 4 plus 1 in your head, that's the same thing as ln of 5, okay? So there is a little bit of a difference there. So no problem, uh, your calculator would spit out numbers for these, approximate numbers for each of these, okay? All right, but now, what if I ask you to calculate um, a log of a different base, such as log base 4. Most scientific calculators don't have a button that will do this, but there is a way to do it without it. Log base 4 of 100. Uh, what you do is you use the change of base formula. This video is not going to talk about where this comes from because it involves um, it's not too advanced. It's something I'll do later in my own particular courses. Um, you just need some basic information that we don't maybe have yet. Okay, so the change of base formula is very simple. You have a number that's below and a number that's up high. The number that's below goes on the bottom of a fraction and the number that's up high goes on the top of a fraction, okay? And then you take the log of each of those separately. So this is log of 100 divided by log of 4. Now the good news is your calculator has a log button because now these are log base 10. Each of these are log base 10. So that's it's very simple. Log of 100 divided by log of 4 is the same thing as log base 4 of 100. The key is the number on the bottom goes to the denominator. Okay, the base goes in the denominator. So it's, it's actually not terribly difficult to remember. Um, but the cool thing about this is 
you don't have to use log base 10 you can use any log so in fact you could also use the natural log so log, natural log of 100 divided by natural log of 4 and I encourage you to put these into your calculator to verify that they give you the same thing and make sure on some calculators you have to put parentheses around each of those arguments okay so that's the change of base formula you could use with a natural log or you could use it with the common log the bit log base 10 of course natural log is base e all right um, if you I usually prefer using natural log if I'm handwriting stuff simply because the letters LN are less to write than the letters LOG uh, it's not because I necessarily like the base of E better but it's less writing uh, so it doesn't matter to me what you write just understand that either one of these would work and so if I gave you another one such as log base one-third of 20 let's take those parentheses out because it's typically not written then you could do log of 20 divided by log of one-third or you could use the natural log of 20 divided by the natural log of one-third so that's the change of base formula okay change of base formula and that's all there is to it so now you should be able to calculate logs of any base using a standard scientific calculator